Day 365. The gruesome crunch of fractured bone beneath the boot soil resounded across the plain of skulls, soon to be repeated in an eerie rhythm in tune with Arcadius's sprint. Come forth once more, my minions. He mentally commanded a hill of the deceased, which at his very heed began to tremble. Yes, yes, quickly now, for adversaries are on their way over the sea of his vanquished foes. Just below the reddish mist of his arena's vermilion sky, a wall of once dead revived charged towards him. Arcadius innerly snickered. <laughs> what fools would run their own demise so readily? It didn't take long for the first row of foes to clash against Arcadius's newly formed reinforcements. With a leaping height no average demigod could have mustered, he flew across the ongoing battle landing a considerable distance away where he was free to rest and catch his breath. That last usage of his mother, Hecate's power had taken a lot out of him, dropping down upon the crushed remains of those whom had fallen at his hands. Arcadius couldn't help but feel grateful for the brief respite. During his first week against the inhabitants of the underworld, he hadn't caught it even a blink of sleep. Usually, he'd activate some form of protective charm and hover high over his enemies in order to attain a state of slumber. But with that many adversaries summoned directly next to him, the sure might of their accumulated power was enough to thwart any attempt he had at creating one. What had I do to get away from that horde? He mentally cringed. Well, it seems this arena may be truly continent-sized. But everyone spread out growing bored of chasing my behind. Because of the fact Arcadius these days only came across feeble settlements of under 200 damned souls, a far cry from the innumerable masses he had pitted against upon arrival. Can't dally any longer, he decided aloud. I'll just finish off where the others. There was a sound of swept air, and Arcadius turned with inhuman speed. He drew a double edged blade in a blur of motion the weapon now clashing against a similarly styled sword of fine quality. Upon the side of his ambusher, Arcadius smirked. <laughs> Son of Poseidon. Damn you, Arcadius! The Greek hero cursed, now taking the form of a particularly large skeleton. You and your pathetic games casted me out of Elysium. Flashes of silver an exchange of fierce blows. The thrill of a true, real challenge for the first time since. A year ago, these and more with emotions overwhelming Arcadius' senses, and he savored every second of it. In the same fashion he imagined, Dionysus would a fine wine. To what honor am I bestowed to encounter King of Athens, Theseus? You'll soon find this less of an honor than it is a misfortune. Theseus snapped, swinging wildly. <laughs> You heroes, Arcadius scoffed. Constant overdramatics. A flaring of heat spanned down Arcadius' arm, flourishing at his fist in a concentration of radiating heat. Fire magic was never his forte, but he would never neglect a single asset of his inheritance. His punch landed quicker than even the dexterity of the champion Thesis could dodge, imprinting a burning afterimage of his fist upon their skull's chin. A brutal crack spanned across Theseus' face, just scarcely stopping before the warrior's entire upper body would collapse in pearly ashes. But the blow didn't simply conclude there, no. The blaze itself was now enveloping Theseus' entire height, and Arcadius didn't waste the opportunity. With a broad sweeping of the hands, he split Theseus' right at the torso. The King of Athens regurgitated half a dozen curses, possibly more. But he didn't stop paying the dissipating hero much attention. How disappointingly weak. Perhaps the legends were exaggerating. Or, if his suspicions proved a good worth, Arcadius had grown stronger. Exponentially so. How absent-minded of me. Arcadius commented inwardly, turning. How could I forget the most crucial step? Tugging back at the dissolving ashes of Theseus, he called upon the blessings of his mother once more but this time things were different. What he summoned forth then was no standard incantation. Rather, this was twisting of magic more devilish than even the depravities of the necromancy itself. Soul consumption. 
Theseus's remnants flew into Arcadius, rejuvenating the man like a sudden shot of caffeine. His veins pulsated, his aches faded, and best of all, the godly power surging through him were more potent than ever. I've never devoured a child of Poseidon before. Perhaps this endeavor shall reward me with other capabilities. It only took a moment's notice for Arcadius to return to the battlefield. Both armies were looking worse for wear, bones rattling everywhere the eye could see, and the sound wasn't easy on his audible sense either. Before he could hop forth into the feuding throng, a single trooper ready built sprinted towards him. Lord, the battle isn't looking great. Our numbers are thinning. Oh, don't you worry about that, my little skeleton. Our victory is more than assured. Oh, gods of Olympus, think. Arcadius grabbed the revived soldier by the neck, robbing him of his lifeline as his muscles pulsated whilst its soul was fully processed. He leapt back into battle. Both armies abruptly halted at his arrival, apparently perplexed at his impromptu appearance. Let's not prolong this battle into an overly long fiasco, he began to announce. My thanks to my valiant troops, but as of now, you're dismissed. A burst of transparent liquid swooshed into existence. Its furious currents swatted at each side of the indiscriminative waves. Both sides were thrown into a panic, not unlike the kind Pan could extir, and Arcadius couldn't be more thrilled. <laughs>